I'm John Free, and I'm running to be your next United States President. I want to have a couple ideas that I want to share with you, but why don't we go outside and I'll tell you some of them. Some of my opponents believe that we should be digging up our land and pumping some of the dirtiest oil through it. These are the same ones that receive large campaign contributions from oil companies that tell you that they support Keystone Pipeline XL, or that climate change isn't real. I believe that we should be preserving the majestic nature that surrounds us, not tearing it apart. Instead of spending billions on solidifying our dependency on oil, I believe that we should be investing in clean and sustainable energy sources. That is why I have proposed a Clean Energy Works project that will increase our use of responsible energy sources and also provide jobs and training in the clean energy field. Many of you have probably heard a lot about hydraulic fracturing, also known as fracking. In short, hydraulic fracking pumps water, toxic chemicals, and other substances thousands of feet below the ground to force gas out. There are about 500,000 wells in America that can each be fractured about 18 times. If we crunch the numbers, we find that over 72 trillion gallons of water and 360 billion gallons are needed to run these wells. It doesn't take a scientist like myself to find the evident dangers and environmental impacts of dumping chemicals into the earth we inhabit. While many of my opponents acknowledge the benefits of solar and wind energy, none have taken any steps to fast track their deployments. Instead, they have suggested and even endorsed bills that would further our dependency on fossil fuels. Unlike my opponents, I have proposed and even endorsed bills that expand America's use of solar and wind energy. Additionally, I have legislature prepared that will transform our green energy sector and have at least 500 million solar panels deployed by 2024. Here's what we'll never run out of. The sun and the wind around us. We have the technology. We have the incentives. We have the need. Yet none of my opponents have taken the steps to ensure that we make this crucial switch. I love John Frink. He's the best. I'm John Frink. And I approve this message.